Hello and welcome to my channel AB Make It Art Work where we do what we do to make that holiday art work for you. And if you're new to my channel, maybe hit that subscribe button. Join the AB Creative Crew. We do sketchy art things. If you're new to my channel, new to my Vlogmas series, I am doing Digital Draw December. Digital Draw December is a challenge month that I gave for myself so I could get better at the digital drawing medium. And if you want to join in on the challenge, you can just do a digital drawing, hashtag it with Digital Draw December, and just have fun with it. I'm just trying to learn how to get better at this medium, just like I would get better at any other medium if I wanted to get better at it. <laughs> um, today's video, I want to ask you guys on how can I improve my channel? Because recently we had a little bit of a jump in subscribers and a couple people have jumped ship and I mean that's expected. People subscribe, people unsubscribe, aesthetics can change. But I like to think that I'm pretty open to criticism and any critiques or suggestions which is why I always felt that you can put your in the description that you can put your comments or suggestions in the comments section. <laughs> and I really am curious, uh, what parts about my channel do you really enjoy? What things do you think I could do more of on my channel? Uh, what things do you not enjoy as much? There's certain things that I can't fix in case you're wondering, um, which would be studio setup. I'm not going to be in Guam for much longer. We're stationed here and we don't really plan on investing a bunch of money in getting desks and stuff for an uh, apartment we're only going to be in for like another five months or so. I don't know. Um, but I can definitely change up what content I am showing. I do feel like a little bit that, especially when it comes to my other social medias, that I had a higher amount of people responding to my traditional works than my digital drawings. And I mean, I can get that. I'm not the best at digital at drawing with Procreate or doing digital drawings. I made this month so I could get better at it so that I could do a focus, a concentration of different pieces with sort of similar themes going on so I could get better at drawing with Procreate. And I do feel like I'm improving in ways that I had never thought to use the app before or any of the brushes. But I do feel like there's been a decline since I started doing the digital work. But maybe that'll just have to come with if I'm going to do digital work I should probably do longer or put longer hours of work into the the projects I'm showing you or maybe I should explain better or just maybe I should put music I don't know these are all suggestions you can put out there if you think I talk too much and that I should just find music so we don't have to listen to me ramble <laughs> that'll probably be a good suggestion and if you know any places well any sites with music that can work for my iPad or my phone I know my phone there's a couple of sites that work for getting copyright and royalty free music um, then those would be good suggestions to put in the comment section and let me think let me think yeah what do you like about the channel what do you think well what don't you like as much about the channel what do you think could be improved upon like I know I did a lot of traditional drawings and traditional speed paint, well mostly speed draws, traditional mediums throughout the most part. And if you prefer traditional drawings over digital drawings or whether you're indifferent or just you would prefer that the focus be on different things, I don't know. I do have plans for certain projects that I'm working out scripts for. Or just writing out essays so that I can talk about it. <laughs> but yeah, I really I really do want your input because I want to make you, well, allow you guys to feel that 
you do have some degree of control as being a part of the crew and kind of part of the glue that makes this channel work. You guys are the creative crew and I love hearing your input. Honestly, when I see a comment on a video, it makes my heart flutter, <laughs> whether that's anxiety or just pure joy at thinking someone's taking the time to look at my stuff and comment. That's pretty amazing. So I try to make time to respond to all comments because I've got nothing better to do. But you can tell me if you like that or not. <laughs> um, goodness, goodness, goodness. But yeah, I really, I really want to hear your guys' opinions and your thoughts. And I don't think I can ramble on about that much longer because I'm just talking myself in circles now. So maybe you'd like to hear about the drawing process for reindeer. When it came to reindeer, I at first was going to just make a reindeer full body in an environment, but at the beginning of the video, you can see how much I hated it. Well, maybe you can't see how much I hated it. I liked it for a little bit, but then I realized I didn't like where it was going. And so I decided to do an animal portrait, which it's been a while since I've actually done an animal portrait. I think the last one I did was a large painting, a large oil painting of a horse, as far as animal portraits from references. Unless you want to count the times that I drew dogs and did animal studies, I guess, for the Sketchbook Slam Challenge. This was, again, the one palette that I had taken from that photo reference of a winter landscape. And, I don't know, I really love that palette. Especially since the photo references I was looking for for reindeer often had those colors in it. And I just didn't feel a need to change my palette for this piece. Though I did get to explore with some different brushes that created some different textures. For instance, there's a sable brush and gosh darn it, I can't remember if it was reed or stick, but I think I primarily stuck with the sable brush aside from the paint brush on a low opacity. And I used the, the sable brush on Procreate to create the fur textures and some of the texture on the horns. And I really thought that was a nice touch, that it was a really nice touch. And I decided that the background needed to be a bit more fun. <laughs> I actually think we're close to the end of the video because I saved the background for last and started going over with some different blend modes on the moose so that it looked more, I don't know, like abstract painter stuff. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you indeed put your comments, questions, suggestions down in the comment section down, <laughs> down below and that if you want to you can follow me on my other social media which links are in the description. I hope that you are having a wonderfully crafty holiday and that you guys make sure to do what you do to make that artwork for you. Lots of love. Bye.